My name is Max Parkes. I'm a poet and an abolitionist. I'm the host of the Session Live in Columbia, South Carolina, which is the largest spoken word venue here in the South, and I'm also the host of a radio program called New Abolitionist Radio. Uh, I say I'm an abolitionist because I want to remind you of something. Black history didn't end. It's still going on right now. And as we said in the very beginning, you have to decide what part of history you're going to be on. In my own lifetime, I've seen, for instance, in 1968, the Loving Laws were passed, which made it legal for my mother and father to get married. Because prior to that, it was illegal for them to be married. I was an illegal baby. <laughs> then I watched also in 72, a few years later, with the president Richard Nixon at the time helped to legalize abortion using the argument that they didn't want any half-breed B words, B A S T words. And uh, he used that saying that I can understand why a person will want abortion in cases of rape or in a black and a white mixing. That was how they thought of us at that time. I've also seen since 1970 with Nixon, the war on drugs began, and we went from a little under 300,000 prisoners in the United States to 2.4 million today in only 30 years. I watched in the 80s when Reagan brought in the first private prison, which had grown by 800% since Reagan put it in a place called the CCA. Right now, here in South Carolina, right here in this state, the number one industry is prison. We have 6,000 people working for the prison industry directly. We have 23,000 people in prisons right here in this state. That's not counting across the country. Your children, your father, your mother, your brothers and sisters, are being sold like cattle on the open market on Wall Street where prison companies, private prison companies, sell their stocks and people invest in. So yes, I'm an abolitionist. I also watched in 2014 the first congressional candidate since 1865 run for office on the abolitionist platform. We're in an age the slavery hasn't ended. 70% of the people in prison right now are in there for nonviolent drug related crimes. 70%. In Louisiana, 80% of the population in prison is black. It's the prison capital of the world, Louisiana. We have more people in prison in America than any other country. All of them actually put together right now. Projections say that currently one in six young black men will make it to prison. And within the next 10 years, it'll be one in three. So just look around you. Between you and the guy on the left and the guy on the right, you'll end up in prison. One of them. That's the way it's working here. And we need more abolitionists. You can find out more about me and what I'm doing by visiting MaximumImpactPoetry.com. I was going to share a poem from Langston Hughes and a poem from myself, but since I talked a little bit, I'll eliminate the poem from me and just read something from Langston Hughes for you. Is that okay? It's called Let America Be America Again. Okay. 